Hello there everyone and welcome back to our virtual science classroom and this is the last discussion video for school year 2020 to 2021. We've come in a very long way and to start our discussion video for today, let us all pray. Thank you very much and uh, Secretary, for the very last time, do not forget to check the attendance, get the number of boys and get the number of girls and add them up. Do not forget to send it in our group chat. Is that clear? And uh, basically, we are now in quarter for week number six, which is the very last topic for this school year. And then we are going to talk about eclipses and different phases of the moon. And to be specific with, the supplementary learning material will help us to learn lesson number one, how do eclipses happen and phases of the moon because these two are very interrelated to each other. Uh, maybe yung iba sa inyo na-encounter na to, but we are going to deepen your understanding about this topic. So as we look back, all you have to do is to guess the two pictures here to form one word below. So we have this picture and this picture. Can you guess what is the answer for this one? That is related to our previous topic. Okay, so the correct answer is seasons. So that was the last topic that we have discussed before we tackle eclipses. And for lesson number one, we are going to broaden and at the same time, extend your knowledge about how do eclipses happen. Okay, so as a brief introduction, we know that the center of the solar system is the sun, and it gives off light as the planets revolve around it. They block the light coming from the sun and form shadows. Thus, the planets and even their moons have shadows also. But these shadows are not visible by us since the Earth is very far from other planets. So we are the third planets away from the Sun. And what we can only see is the shadow of the Moon and the Earth as well. We also learned that as the Earth revolves around the Sun, okay, the Moon also revolves around it. So we all know that uh, the Earth is rotating in its own axis and revolving around the sun, same as the moon. The moon has its own rotation, okay? And it revolves around the earth, okay? So later on, we will tackle about that. So do not forget that, that the sun is the center of our solar system. And then, we are going to tackle about solar and lunar eclipses. So, paano nga ba ito nangyayari at paano nga ba nagsisimula na magkakaroon tayo ng mga eclipses? So, to start with, how do these solar and lunar eclipses happen? How do they occur? So, to this effect, different phenomena happens on Earth. And one of these is the occurrence of eclipses. Very, very prominent, as we all know, especially when you are uh, very much uh, fascinated with celestial bodies. And so, kung kayo talaga mahilig sa mga planets and all, everything about the universe, you will love this phenomena. So, there are two types of eclipses. There are, we have, number one, solar eclipse, and the other one is lunar eclipse. And we are going to differentiate the two. Okay, so solar and lunar eclipses, as you can see here in the figure, we have the sun, and we have the moon. And we have the Earth. So this is the position when eclipses took place. But it differs. It depends what celestial body uh, black the Earth. It's either the moon or the Earth itself. Okay, so we have two types of shadows here. The darker shadow is the umbra, while the lighter shadow is the penumbra. Okay, so this figure above shows that the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So, nasa gitna si moon. Okay? When this happens, moon casts a shadow on earth and blocks our view of the sun. So, what do you think is this type of eclipse? 
Okay, nasa gitna si Moon. Naharangan ngayon yung araw. Any idea about this eclipse? Okay, so this eclipse is what we all know as the total solar eclipse. Meaning to say that the moon entirely blocks the sun. Okay, so that's solar eclipse. Because the moon what blocks the entire part of the sun. That's why we can only see the shadow of the moon reflected to the earth. And to uh, deepen our standing with solar eclipse, here's the visualization. Okay. So we have here the sun, and then this is the moon, and then the earth. I want you to focus on the sequence or the, what they call this, the pattern. We have the sun, okay, then the moon, and then the earth. So this is what it looks like. During daytime, Okay, when lunar eclipse or sorry, solar eclipse happens, this is what will be the sun look like. There you go. So in a solar eclipse, the moon is aligned between the sun and the earth. Because the moon is smaller than the earth, the shadow of the moon never covers the earth completely. So the moon's shadow is composed of two sides, like what I have discussed. One side is the darker than the other. The lighter side of the moon's shadow is called penumbra, while the darker side, which is actually the inner side of the shadow, is called the umbra. Okay, do not forget that. Yung medyo lighter side, that's penumbra. Yung darker shadow, that is the umbra. Okay, take note of that. And uh, we all know that when someone is standing within the umbra, the moon blocks the entire sun. And total solar eclipse is viewed. But when somebody is standing within the penumbra, this person views a partial solar eclipse. So, depende kung saan kayong lugar. Okay? So, uh, for example, if you are standing in the umbra part, okay, you will see a total solar eclipse. While if you're just standing in a place where only the penumbra Okay, it's visible. Therefore, you will just see a partial solar eclipse. Pag sinabi natin partial, not entirely covered by the moon. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay. And then, there are three types of solar eclipses. We have partial solar eclipse, annual solar eclipse, and total solar eclipse. So, partial solar eclipses are when moon doesn't completely cover the sun. Part lang, kaya siya partial. Annular eclipse is when the moon doesn't cover the entirely or entirety of the sun, even if the moon's completely centered in front of it, like this one. Okay, you can visualize we have here the partial, annular, and last but not least, not the least, the total solar eclipses. It happens when the sun is completely blocked by the moon, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so nangyayari ang solar eclipses during the day. Okay, so we have here partial solar eclipse, annular solar eclipse, and then we have total solar eclipse. And then, we are going to jump into the lunar eclipse. Okay, to visualize, I want you to look at this diagram. Okay, in solar eclipse, the position or the formation is sun, then in between of the sun and the earth is the moon. So we have sun, moon, and earth, right? In lunar eclipses, we have sun, earth, and then moon. Okay, so the earth is in between the sun and the moon. So this is what will happen or this is what it looks like when lunar eclipses happen. This one. Okay? Okay. So, when the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon, a lunar eclipse happens. When the entire Moon is within the umbra, it will look totally dark. And a total lunar eclipse happens. So, kahit full Moon yan, pero total, lo- total uh, lunar eclipse, okay, it will become totally dark at all. Okay? But when the Moon passes only to a part of the umbra, Therefore, a partial lunar eclipse will be observed. Only a part of the moon appears to be dark while the rest will be lighter. 
Okay, so like this one. So there are a little bit of lighter part, but if it is total, total darkness. Okay, and to uh, add it up also, there are also three types of lunar eclipses. We have total lunar eclipse, we have partial lunar eclipse, and we have penumbral lunar eclipse. Let's proceed to total lunar eclipse. So the, the moon or the entire moon passes through Earth's umbral shadow. Kaya siya naging total lunar eclipse kasi yung darker side, it covers the entire Earth. Okay, so kaya total darkness. While penumbral lunar eclipse, the moon passes through Earth's penumbral shadow. So meaning to say, may a little bit kang makikita doon na shadow but not entirely kasi nag-pass through lang siya. While partial lunar eclipse, a portion of the moon passes through Earth's umbral shadow. Okay? And dito naman ang nagkakast ng shadow is yung Earth. So sa partial lunar eclipse, ito yung part ng moon ay covered with the shadow of the Earth. Okay? But in total lunar eclipse, as you can see, uh, it will become, or sometimes the moon becomes reddish in color. So yung tinatawag natin yung red blood moon. Later on, we will talk about that. Okay, so uh, before we proceed to that, let's have a little bit of background of phases of the moon and eclipses. Importante rin kasi class, uh, nang pag-aaralan natin yung phases of the moon because it has a role also with eclipses. And para malaman nyo na rin why we call month a month or yung buwan natin, di ba? Okay, so the amount of moon we see changes over month is the lunar phases or phases of the moon because the moon orbits Earth and Earth orbits the sun. So, ibig sabihin, class, si moon may sariling orbit. So, Earth may sariling orbit. So, they rotate and revolve from each or one another. Okay, so everything is moving. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth comes between the sun and the moon, blocking the sunlight falling on the moon. So, the Earth's shadow covers all or sometimes part of the lunar surface. Okay, I want you to look at this one. So, this is where the sunlight is located and this is the Earth. And as the moon rotates around the Earth, it has different phases. Okay? So, in new moon, there's no totally moon. Always remember that New moon means no moon. So kapag wala kayong nakitang buwan, kapag gabi, automatically, that's new moon. Okay? And then, when it revolves, you will see a waxing crescent. And then, first quarter, you will see a half moon. And then, a waxing gibus. Then, a full moon. When you see the lighted part of the moon because of the sunlight of course and then we have the waning gibus and third quarter which is also the half moon and then waning crescent ito na yung nakikita natin na parang smiley part ng moon okay then it will go back to new moon okay parang siya nagpertain okay imagine uh, you are eating a cookie okay so unti-unti mong kinakain yung cookie right so somewhat like that Okay, so until such time, it will go back to new moon. It means kapag naka-revolve ang moon around the Earth, automatically that's one month. Kaya siya tinawag natin buwan or month because of the revolution of moon around the Earth. Okay, so let's talk about again this basis of the moon. The question that we are going to answer is, what phases of the moon do eclipses occur? Any idea? Okay, uh, as simple as this one. Lunar eclipses occur at full moon phase. Why in full moon phase? Because when Earth is positioned precisely between the moon and the sun, the Earth's shadow falls upon the surface of the moon. It, it will automatically dim it and sometimes turning the lunar surface a striking red 
over the course of a few hours and it will look like this picture so the moon will become reddish in color so this is what we call the red blood moon and it's because of the what in the electromagnetic wave which is the visible light and has the longest wavelength red color that's why it appears as red moon okay and that's the reason behind that why is it red in color during that uh total lunar eclipse so we have learned that before that it takes one month for the moon to complete its revolution around the earth so given this fact how come we don't experience a monthly eclipse bakit nga ba hindi tayo buwan buwan ang nakaranas ng monthly eclipse na yan o hindi natin naranasan yung eclipses na yan monthly Okay. I want you to look at this picture. So as you can see, the moon is revolving around the earth and it has its own orbit. And you will get the answer here. Okay? Yan ang reason kung bakit hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng monthly eclipse. Simply because In reality, it does not occur every month. There are only about three solar eclipses and three lunar eclipses in a year. They do not happen every month because, remember this, the Earth's orbit around the Sun is not in the same plane as the Moon's orbit around the Earth. So magkaiba sila ng orbit. Only when the Moon is crossing the plane of the Earth's orbit, just as it is lining up with the Earth and the Sun. Therefore, it will occur, you know, that eclipse will occur when it is aligned to each other. So, when the moon, sun, earth align to each other, then this is what it looks like. I want you to look at the earth and the moon's orbit. There you go. So, as the earth is revolving around the sun, so as the moon revolving around the earth and they do not have the same movement okay so that's why we do not have monthly eclipses okay and uh, for you to be able to uh, know more about this topic and if you understood this topic already i want you to watch this video and answer all the questions in our module that can be found in your google classroom. So for lesson number one, I want you to answer pages three, which is your pre-test, five, six to seven, and pages eight to nine for post -test. And if you are done with the answering, well, congratulations. That's the last thing that you will do in our week number six. Then if you have any clarifications, questions for our week number six about eclipses or phases of the moon, Do not forget to reach me to my different social media accounts in my YouTube, Instagram, or in my Facebook page, okay? And that's the end of our quarter four week number six about eclipses and phases of the moon. Congratulations, everyone, for completing our school year 2020 and 2021. Hope to see you next school year and have a nice day. Continue to be hopeful and be joyful always. Thank you so much. This is your teacher, Daryl Del Mundo, signing off. Goodbye and God bless you all.